Hi and welcome to Philippa and Healing. I'm so happy that you are here. Today we are going to explore a method that has meant a lot to me on my healing journey. This method is called EFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, uh, and it's also called tapping. I really love this method because of a few uh, reasons, and those reasons are, first of all, this is a technique that you can use like in the moment, instantly, when you are emotionally upset. Um, but you can also work with it preventively. And that's a beautiful side of this method. Another reason is that you don't need anything <laughs> to practice it, except your fingers, your uh, emotions, your uh, different pressure points on the, on the body. Uh, and it's so easy. You just need like a quiet space. Uh, you can do it pretty fast and of course you can spend more time if you have that but it's very accessible for me all the emotional methods like methods that help me process emotions have been so valuable to heal pelvic floor dysfunction because as many of you already know we need to address the nervous system not only the nervous system, actually the latest science shows us that emotions get stuck in our fascia, like negative emotions like past traumas or um, any kind of challenging emotions. So we want to release them and this methods, method really helps with that. The practitioner, Ali Murphy, is a wonderful woman. Uh, she's really inspiring, have, have healed um, a number of physical and emotional challenges herself. And uh, she will now tell us more about uh, the actual method, where it comes from, uh, the purpose of it and so on. And then she will guide us through this wonderful tapping sequence. Um, I really hope that you will enjoy this as much as I do. Feel free to come back whenever you need to get that, you know, check into your body and connect to your emotional and physical self again. Also, I will include the link uh, to a Alice's website in the description so that if you want to contact her directly, you can, of course, do that. Enjoy. Emotional freedom technique, it's pretty telling. It's, you know, intuitive. You can kind of gather what that, what this tool is doing, but then the word tapping, you know, that's what I really want to explain. And I'm going to explain how it all fits together, but essentially tapping is a form of acupressure. So you use your fingertips to tap on various points of your body, which are, I've shown here in this picture of this woman, top of head, eyebrow, side of eye, under eye, et cetera. And all these points correspond to various meridians in traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, similar to acupressure, but acupuncture uses needles. They also put the needles on the various meridian points, depending on what is happening in the body, what needs to be healed, what's in balance, you know, help to increase the flow of chi or energy in the body. And so that's kind of where this came from. Actually, the originator of EFT was a chiropractor and he was familiar with, you know, the meridian systems and, and learned that, you know, kind of combining these techniques, acupressure, knowing the meridian systems, knowing how accessing the subconscious mind and how all this works while combining it with talk therapy, it's able to just be a very effective tool for releasing your emotions, for healing traumas. Essentially what happens in a tapping session is you're recalling an event or a memory that you have and the specific emotion associated with it. You are telling your nervous system, communicating with it, saying, I am safe, I am okay, I am calm. And it activates the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest. Meaning that even though you have this event, this memory, these negative emotions, you're while you're tapping on these endpoints of the meridians, it's signaling to the amygdala, which is 
the gland in the brain that's responsible for the fight or flight response, which is the opposite, which is called the sympathetic nervous system. That's where problems happen. That's where disease happens. Cortisol levels go through the roof. Our adrenaline goes through the roof. This is awesome in emergency situations only. That's why we have it. That's what it was. That's why we were wired to, you know, be on alert to go to the fight, the flight, the freeze mode. You know, that's saved us, saved our lives. However, when we, because of our modern society and because of all the stresses that we have, we can end up triggering that system daily, you know, and we, and our body just doesn't recover. So it's really important to get the body into this rest and digest parasympathetic nervous system in order to heal, just to get into more specifics of the benefits, um, to give like real life examples. I put this, these little, this chart together. So um, you know, balancing the energy systems, you know, moving the chi, putting an end to self-sabotage and limiting beliefs, again, through like the rewiring, the reprogramming of the brain. Because when I, when you're either you or me, <laughs> I'm a practitioner. So, you know, I work with clients one-on-one, but if you tapped on your own, which is totally possible, you can, you know, you recall the negative event or the memory and the emotions, but then you're, but then you're also later on, saying these positive statements, these affirmations of how you want to feel of, you know, I'm feeling safe. I'm calm. I relax. I let go. I deserve to feel at peace. I deserve to feel better. I'm open to the possibility that I will feel better. I'm worthy of healing. You know, these things, you, these affirmations, you also say while you're tapping. So it's not just a matter of tapping and recalling and speaking these negative events and emotions, but then you're concluding the tapping session on a very positive note. So kind of like replacing the old with the new, removing the negative, the painful, this, this event, this memory with something that you know, something positive, something, something that is going to help you heal. So tapping could also improve self-esteem and body confidence, self-love, improve your outlook on life. Cause I said, you know, we're using these pof- positive affirmations throughout the healing session and to conclude the session, leaving it on a very positive, uplifting note. So yeah, there's just a lot of benefits. And then when you want to get into more specifics on what's happening inside the body while you're tapping, um, studies show that tapping can reduce cortisol levels by up to 24%. So very powerful stuff, covers everything. So emotional trauma, grief, PMS symptoms, pain, anxiety or depression, body image issues, post-traumatic stress disorder, difficulty sleeping, having specific phobias or fears, stress, overwhelm, right? Anything in this list, like I said, can just go on and on. It has the power and potential to help in all areas of your life. I definitely want to give you kind of like a one-on-one experience with tapping. So I've added a video right after this that is going to walk you through a actual EFT tapping session with me. So as an EFT practitioner, I work with clients one-on-one and normally, you know, we, I call them up at the scheduled time, whether it's on the phone or through zoom and talk about what's bothering them, what currently has a grip or a hold over their life, emotionally, physically, mentally, whatever it is for us. Since I'm not live one-on-one with you, I wrote up a script in advance while I'm saying out these different words. If there's a word that fits better, then just replace it. You know, no need to follow my words 100%. Make sure it resonates to you. So if I say something that doesn't resonate, just fill in the blank with something new, swap out a word, skip it, just silently tap, whatever works. So get comfortable. I'm gonna get comfortable as well. And before we start, I'm gonna show you again the tapping points. I know I had them on the last slide, but it might've been hard to read. So I'll go through those now. And then when we start this, just essentially follow along. I'll say, these words on this particular tapping point and then you just repeat after me. Okay. So we'll go through the tapping points first. So karate chop is the first one and it's right here along the side of the hand. And just to point out, it doesn't matter if you're left-handed, right-handed or to do it left or right-hand side, it doesn't matter. It's really whatever you're comfortable with. So I just wanted to say that. Okay. So back to karate chop, which is right here. Imagine, you know, chopping a board. That's where the name comes from karate chop. Then we go to top of the head, which is right here in the center of the head. Eyebrow point right here. 
and we'll just be tapping like this, you know, two fingers, three fingers, four, whatever. Again, it's just really how it feels comfortable to you. Whatever is innately, however your body's responding, do that. So after eyebrow, the side of the eye, then we go under eye, under nose, chin, which is the crease, not the bottom of the chin. Lastly, we do collarbone. So you could do, I always just do two hands because it just seems like it makes sense for me, but you could just do one or the other, but finding like the actual collarbone and then right underneath that, that's the collarbone point. And then we go right back to top of the head. So karate chop is the setup. We just do it at the beginning. And then when we go through the sequence, we kind of go back in that circular motion. So again, I'll be saying all these points out loud and the actual words to say. So follow along and just repeat after me, okay? All right, so let's take a few deep breaths before we get started. Again, trying to stay as relaxed as you can, getting comfortable, dropping those shoulders, relaxing the muscles in the face, just really getting as comfortable as possible. That's the goal. One more deep breath. Okay. So here we go. Going to karate chop. Even though I have this pain and it makes me frustrated, fed up, alone, and angry, I acknowledge and validate my feelings. It is safe for me to do so. Even though my body aches, I choose to accept myself exactly where I'm at. I deserve all my thoughts and feelings. Even though the agony, frustration, and hopelessness I feel are at an all-time high. I'm here to support myself through it. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then go to the top of your head. Take a deep breath. Repeat after me. All this discomfort in my body. Eyebrow. All this agony in my mind. Side of eye. I'm angry, frustrated, on edge, and stressed out. Why is this happening to me? Under eye. Under nose. I've had enough. Chin. I feel alone, helpless, and defeated. It's too much for me to handle. Collarbone. They're disrupting my personal life, my work life, and my family life. Take another deep breath and go back to the top of your head. The stress into my body and mind. It's interfering with my peace. Eyebrow. I don't know how much more I could take I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed. Side of eye. I'm ready to change this pattern and reality by being open to the possibility that I can heal. Under eye. I'm ready to acknowledge that my painful emotions 
about this. Disempower me and make me feel worse. Under nose. This is all just stale, stuck, and suppressed energy that needs to flow. It is safe to let it flow. Chin. And it's time to let it flow. Collarbone. It's time for healing. And I'm so ready for it. Take another deep breath, returning back to the top of your head, last rounds. I choose to let all these uncomfortable emotions. Oh. Eyebrow. And I honor myself through this process. Side of eye. I trust in my ability to heal. Under eye. And let go of anything that doesn't serve my highest good. Under nose. I'm worthy of healing. All my pains and discomforts. I deserve to heal from all of them. Chin. I'm sending a loving message to my body and to my subconscious mind and to my heart that it's safe to let it all go. Collarbone. Dissolve and release. Soften and flow. I'm tapping into the infinite well of love that resides within me. And ask that love to heal every part of me. I am light. I am love. I am peace. Go ahead and place both hands on top of your heart, closing your eyes if you want to, taking some deep breaths here, just being with this. So normally I let the client stay here a little bit longer but for the sake of time in the video and just, you know, slowly come out of this when you're ready, open your eyes, move around your body. If it feels tight, you know, and really ask yourself, check in, how do you feel? Is there any sensations that you're feeling in your physical body? Is there, was there any memories that came to your mind, any thoughts, any images, anything, any emotions, anything that came up at all, 